Hello there, I am James Swanick and I'm joined today by my business and life coach, Ty Lopez. How are you, Ty? Hey, James. <laughs> Great to have you here. <laughs> today we're going to be talking to Ty about how he reads a book a day, how he taught me how to read a book a day, about his business philosophy, about his life philosophy. I've just finished working with Ty for 12 months and as a mentoree. Is that how you say it or is it a mentee? What is, what's, the, what's the student? See, I can't even That's get it right. That's a good question. <laughs> he was my mentor and I was the student. He was Yoda and I was Luke Skywalker for 12 months. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, about that. But that for... means he's the good looking one. <laughs> yeah. But before I tell you a little bit about that process and what I learned from Ty and what Ty taught me, uh, Ty, tell the listener and the viewer right now a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, so I'm an investor. Um, that's my main business, but, uh, it's been interesting in the last, I don't know, years I've gotten the opportunity kind of like what happened to me. I've had five mentors, five people who, uh, or I should say main mentors that helped me critical people, um, starting at 18 years old entrepreneurs, uh, most of them business people. And so as I've been an entrepreneur, it's kind of evolved that you end up working together with people, sometimes informally with me and you a little more formally, uh, all with the end goal, you know, like what my end, I tell people, you got to focus on your end game goal. So my end game goal to this whole thing is how can I end up with 300 people that I've worked with that are like you have become like more like business partners over time. Uh, some people that I've acted more like an accelerator or what they call an incubator to help people with their ideas um, and they go off on their own. But you know what the world needs now is not a thousand more people running after get rich quick schemes, a thousand more Paris Hiltons and Kim Kardashians running after luxury. What the world needs both on an individual level and a big societal level is people who are building solid foundations. Mm -hmm. That's why I worked with you. And even though we worked together for 12 months, I tell people realistically, you know, it takes about 18 months. And that's, you know, Peter Drucker's kind of time frame, this 18 month time frame. Uh, and it's kind of like cycles of nature. You know, you have to go through winter, mm -hmm. spring, summer, fall, as we've been working together. You know, usually people start out working with you. It's like the winter or the spring start to get of course everybody wants to be in the fall that's mm -hmm. when you harvest mm -hmm. but that you know bill gates started at 12 he wasn't a billionaire till 31 mm -hmm. it's a 19 year cycle warren buffett started at 7 57 i think when he was a billionaire ray Kroc, you know mahatma gandhi mother Teresa. there's this they call it the 10 dark years uh and i'm trying to shorten that because most people, most of us, myself included, in the modern world, we're too ADD. If I tell people it's going to take me 10 years to get you on the path, people give up before they even started. Yeah. I'm impatient as well. I'm not a very patient guy. We all are. Oh, now, impatient. now, now. Right. <laughs> but you've made, I mean, you're doing big things now. And I, I saw a Denzel Washington movie the other day. Not that you want to get your advice from Denzel, but the, uh, one of the characters, uh, he said, I'm looking for progress, not perfection. Mm. So I think most, if you're watching this, I, I apply the same thing to myself. It's like, that's why I tell people, it's a phrase you'll hear a lot. You've heard a lot. If, if you know, you end up working on any of this stuff and the, the systems that I have, it's all end game goal. So it's like, what is your end game for you? You know, your end game is clearly successful businesses, helping people, kind of a teacher, your background, mm -hmm. being on camera mass media reaching and so every day when you feel discouraged you have to go like charlie munger says the self-made billionaire is like go to bed a little bit wiser a little bit closer but most people are going to bed maybe smarter but not necessarily to the end so you pick the goal here mm -hmm. most people you know as, the, as you learn in geometry or, or you know simple math the quickest way between two points is a straight line. So most people, they maybe make progress, but they're going that way. But the goal is here. It doesn't matter how quickly you get to your goal, as long as you're going 
relatively directly towards it. So when you were younger, before you became successful, you employed uh, mentors, did you? Or you yes. just worked with mentors, you worked for them for free, you paid them, like what? and what impact did they have on your life, which ultimately put you in a position to be able to be a mentor for people like me and maybe the viewer right. in the future? Well, I talk about that. I did a TED talk and I kind of laid out what happened to me. And so it started out just almost by accident. I was in high school uh, or graduating high school, 18 and 19 years old. And this guy who had a farm, Joel Salatin, who now has become pretty famous. Back then he was still, you know, a young dude. And uh, he said, I'm doing an apprenticeship. That's what he called it. Mm -hmm. So they call, I just came back from Germany on a speaking tour in Europe and they call it apprenticeships, which is similar to mentor. And the guy, by the way, that was in Germany, he does a two and a half year one. He found that's how long it takes, about two and a half years. Uh, so I ended up, interestingly enough, I ended up at Joel Salatin's for almost two to three years. Mm -hmm. So that was on a farm. Yeah. Which was to me, you know, I grew up in a city, I was born in Los Angeles. And I there was character traits that I didn't have that that really you only learn on a farm. Mm -hmm. So Joel Salatin was my first mentor, but also a farm environment was, you know, you learn.